Hello and welcome to the second training video in my newsletter. I'm so excited to have you here. So the first video we talked about allowing your emotions, that life is 50-50 and sometimes life just doesn't feel that great and that is okay. Now the second biggest thing that I've learned in life coaching is to be able to bring awareness around what it is that I think and believe about life. And the reason why life coaching is so powerful is because it's going to help you to understand and to change what you believe because if you understand how your beliefs work, they're going to create your reality. And the reason is very simple. There's nothing woo woo about it. If I believe something is possible, I will take action to achieve it. If I believe something is not possible, I won't take action to achieve it. So the purpose of today's video is just to show you that your thoughts and beliefs are completely optional and you get to decide what you want to believe in life. And when you actually understand this, you allow yourself to dream about a life that's possible that you actually want. And then you'll actually believe enough to take action to create it. I don't think that people have a desire issue. I think that most of us know what we want in life, but the real issue is that we don't believe it's possible. So today's video is just going to give you some very common beliefs. And I'm going to let you know that most of these beliefs probably were taught to you by the people around you. And they might have been taught to you when you were too young to actually be able to look at them from an objective standpoint and question them. And that is why this work is so powerful. If we can help you change one belief as a coach, then you could change your entire life and legacy for everyone around you. So let's do it. So the first one I have is I'm not good enough or I'm not smart enough. Any kind of, I'm not good enough, smart enough, happy enough, anything, enough. And I want you to question that. Next time you hear yourself say that, question it. What do you mean you're not smart enough to be in this profession or start this business? Why do you think that? What is smart enough? Just bring some awareness around that whenever you hear yourself saying that and question it. Question it logically. You might find that you don't need to believe that anymore. The next one I have on here is I've had a hard life. So the reason why I don't like this thought, and it is optional because we could find proof for it against it, is because it doesn't typically serve you to believe that. If you think that you've had a hard life, you're often going to put yourself into a situation of disempowerment. And my main job is to help you to take as much control of your life back so that you can create what you actually want in life, not more of what you don't want. Here's another one. We should be happy all the time. And I kind of touched on this in the last video. Have you ever questioned that? Why should we pursue happiness all the time? And if you actually think about it, like think about your life as being happy indefinitely. You'll probably get kind of old. And if we were happy all the time, we wouldn't actually know what happiness felt like anymore because in the absence of uncomfortable emotions, we don't really appreciate the positive ones. So question what you believe about happiness and when you think it's appropriate to be happy and when it's not. Like, do you want to be happy when somebody you love passes away? It's totally your choice to answer that question, but it is a choice that you get to make. Another one on here that I really don't like is the belief system that work is just work. I've worked at about 23 different jobs in my life in all sorts of different industries. And there was always one commonality with my coworkers is that I was always surrounded by people, a lot of them who thought that work was just work and that you just had to go and you had to hate it and that your time had anything to do with money. This is another good belief system to question. Like, why does your time have to do anything with money? If you think about it, money comes from adding value. Time is usually how we add and measure value, but it doesn't have to be related. So question that. Question everything you believe about your future, your past, what you want to believe and start practicing it. You don't have to believe what everybody around you believes just because you've been taught that. And that is the power you have as a human being to create the life that you want the most. This is the ultimate power you have in your life is to choose what's possible for you and go to work believing it. And it's a really important skill because you have to have the skill of believing in yourself and your dreams more than anybody else around you. It's the only skill you'll ever need to achieve what you want. And I'm so excited to help teach it to you. So below this email, I just put some common beliefs that people have that are completely not based in fact. So I want you just to look at those and question them. And just the act of questioning those beliefs is going to help you change so much and build so much awareness in your life. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.